Oh, oh, wait. Show the show. Been a while, yeah. Well, I mean, so it's been a while. It's uh, it has been a while. Yeah, you know? like three weeks. Um, and I like to say it's been a month actually. Um, over a month, five weeks. Um, and five I say, weeks. I say because of COVID, <laughs> we had a delay in action. We had to go into quarantine, which is not true. But it, I mean, I like to say that phrase because everybody else does. Five weeks. Am so I, we, was I supposed to quarantine when I came back from Maine? What are the rules in there? I think you were supposed. You were probably supposed to quarantine when you went into Maine. Oh, well, you went to Massachusetts, right? No, Maine. Yeah, but you went into Massachusetts. Well, I drove through, but the windows were up. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's some. I don't even know if those rules still apply. I mean, do you still what are the rules to... down here? Well, there's no quarantine. No, there isn't. No, oh, good. I mean, well, I should. I should say look that. that up. I mean, there's quarantine if you get contact traced to somebody. I never leave my number with anybody. Yeah. I leave yours. <laughs> <laughs> Get in line, as I always say. Well, we're not going to talk COVID today, though, are we? No, I mean, it'll probably filter its way in. It filters its way into everything. <laughs> well, I um, uh, this one, you know, after a five-week layoff, we thought good, timing was good for a a tax day review. You know, tax deductions and... hey. <laughs> sure, what do you got? things here. Uh-huh. One, one thing is that I saw I saw a car accident on the way home from work. You ever see a car accident? Like as it unfolded? Oh, yeah. I yeah, saw the sure. whole thing right in front yeah, of me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Like when nobody gets hurt, obviously you don't want somebody to get hurt. But basically, so there's two lanes, right? And there was a car in... In the left-hand lane, that was trying to do a U-turn because it took the wrong turn, right? So, it, not in the middle of the road, but like it was a light. Kind of, it was its ass was out in in the other lane, right? So I was in the right-hand lane, mm-hmm. and there's this woman in the in the left-hand lane. So it's I'm, not a turn lane. It's there. It's in the, not a turn okay. lane. It was out. It was a definite illegal U-turn, right? right? So. This car in front of me is going towards the car, and I can see what's. It's going like this, right? So instead of, like, she started to come over into the right-hand lane. To give herself an angle. To get around it. Uh And something must have grabbed the wheel because she just went like, boom. She went right back into the other lane and then didn't even break. Like, Did she think another car was coming up on the right? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't stop to ask her. I had stuff to do. <laughs> but still. You were supposed to be coming over here? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's like, boom. It's like, you, I saw, the, you know, when you see the whole thing happen, like, again, nobody was hurt. Right. But I did go by and, like, the airbag went off and she was like, ah, whatever. But. <laughs> Wait, but you funny. went by, you didn't stop, though. No, no, I ain't got top of that. Did she have a mask on? Uh, no, she had an airbag on her face. <laughs> She was wearing an airbag. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty. It was pretty cool. Well, I really like that. You assume no way it's hurt. Um, somebody yeah. was somebody acting hurt. It wasn't. An, it wasn't like. I mean, maybe it was like a Peter Brady or a Greg Brady. Oh. No, what's his name, Brady? Uh, uh, Mike. Bob Brady. Mike, Mike Brady. Brady. Yeah, Mike. yeah. Like somebody's gonna bring it. Somebody's Didn't he slam the? He slammed the. the yeah, uh... threw it on the ground. It was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. I got gotcha you on that one. So, was there somebody, was there a character, though, you could tell was going to be like, oh, you know? I mean, somebody's going to, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, like, Sokolov and, uh, the, the, like, all these, like, all these guys you see on the yeah. morning news <laughs> that are, like, they're all, no, they're, if you've been hurt in an accident. They, they do those commercials, like, 2 a.m. Yeah. Right? Oh, they're so bad. Yeah. They're so bad, and they're the bankruptcy yeah. attorneys and the and yeah. the personal. Injury. I mean, obviously, lawyer lawyers are cheap, right? So they they're not going to spend money on advertising, mm-hmm. but but yeah. It's, well, no, I mean, it's the no, no, it's the clientele they're going after. Yeah, the people true. watching two a.m. TV, you know, Judge Judy at two a.m. are, are people in the that, morning. They're you not like working. Watch the news in the morning. They're not working. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're like, yeah, maybe I could cash out. So on they're looking at ways, yeah. Look Maybe I'll make an illegal U-turn and then get hurt. <laughs> I like the idea of that. Well, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. hey, if you're wondering why, by the way, that we're bald, because I don't think they've seen. I don't think our audience has seen us bald yet, have they? No. 
Um, speaking of tax deductions, um, what a great way to segue into that. Yep. Uh, Jake and I do this event every year, uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation, where we uh, raise money for childhood cancer research, and we do so by having people pledge on our heads to shave our head. I and, did see that post that you put out there. That I, I can't believe we raised sixty-seven hundred dollars. Oh, we're now at um, seventy-five thousand. From sixty seven hundred? Sixty seven thousand. Yeah, he put sixty seven hundred on Facebook. Oh, did I? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. did I raise no I raised sixty seven hundred myself. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'll be no, seventy five hundred. Yeah, you had like uh who were your donors? I had a big donor. Yeah, thank I had you. A big donor. Yeah, all right. I said big donor. Yeah. <laughs> Boner, no. Um but we raised this year we raised uh, so far seventy five thousand dollars, which our event was Two weekends ago, right? Yeah. May 1st. Um, and our total tally in the years that we've done is $1.25 million. I thought it was $1.3. No. This is $1.13 before. Oh. $1.25 million. So, pretty impressive, huh? I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. Which, by the way, I, I'll say this. <clears throat> our per head. Oh, raising, we are. Yeah. $1,600 plus per head. Yeah. Per people. In the we had past, 49 it like, people. It was like 40. Well, we, we, the second year we did it, we raised 2,000 heaven. There was only like eight of us. Right. Um, seven of us, actually. The, uh, in the years that we had a lot of shavies. We were just shaving heads. Yeah. yeah. We had 330 people, and then the average per head was like $407, yeah. which is fine, but, um, so, we complete that event. There, thusly, we are bald for the time being. Yeah. So. Well, and what do I normally do? What's my rule on it? You don't let your hair grow. Until I don't let my hair grow until tax day is over. Did they extend so, no. tax day this year? Yeah, it's tomorrow. Uh, it's next Monday. Nice. Uh, May seventeenth. That's why it's we're talking about here in May versus April. So that's kind of what our main topic Can is. Can I bring today. up one more thing? Sure. Because within the last, since we met before, um, I know you, you live in the South, so this might be kind of different for you, but. So do you. I know, but you grew up this way, so. Um, I went to the dentist. That's funny. <laughs> oh, because I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the South. No. That, yeah. Interestingly yeah. enough, that's yeah. going to come up later. <laughs> yeah. Here we go to the, the, like, when you go to the dentist, right, you get like two cleanings a year. I mean, obviously, they, you know, you need this crown and that crown and blah, blah, blah. But is it, isn't it amazing? Every time you go to the dentist, they have an, an entirely new piece of equipment. It's like every single time. It's like I walk in, I say, all right, what's new this time? <laughs> Show me what you bought with the money. There's well, and then, with, and then to make that up with the money, yeah. they always have a dental plan yeah. for you. <laughs> Your treatment plan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we, oh, you need a crown back there really bad. It's uh, it's $1,400, but fortunately, your insurance will pay about $350 of it. <laughs> it's like, dental insurance is a joke, probably a whole nother show. But you know, it's the first time we've talked about dental stuff on this show since I've got my gold teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was what, That's 2004 yeah. on. We could, we could do a show. On the first time, no, some of the some of these jokes that you have that you keep kind of bringing up, <laughs> those are pretty good. Yeah. But the other thing that that is so like when you go to the dentist and you sit there and you're you lay back and now they give you the sunglasses. Do you guys, you get oh, yeah, the sunglasses? Yeah. yeah, they're cheap, like they're little like, yeah. convenience store yeah, ones, right? Little convenience store ones. Uh -huh. And I don't know if your dentist has this. I've I've gone to them in the past where they have like TVs. And, oh yeah, or, got TV oh, up there. You... Mine doesn't have that. All I have is this woman's face right here. And it always reminds me, it brings me back to the to the drink or no drink game where you would say, you would set the rule <laughs> that says, you can't look at me. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to not look at somebody whose face is like right here? You know, I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, how do I look at the, you know, the ceiling grid, the window? <laughs> I'm like straining to not look. I don't like that. Very Do they have the shield? Does your hygienist have the shield thing too? Uh, is she wearing it? Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. 
I think actually she was wearing a welding mask. I think. So I was just thinking, order. wouldn't that be yep. awesome? Like <laughs> instead of instead of like a dancer in like uh, what was the movie? Uh, the dance movie. Uh, where they say maniac. maniac. What was that about movie? No, oh. where she was like the welder at day, and then she was the oh. dancer at night. <laughs> I don't know the answer, but I know what, you mean. what was the name? Of Flash dance. Flash dance. So Flash dance. Why didn't they say? You know what they should have done was she's a welder at day and she's a dental hygienist. Yeah. <laughs> she can just take her mask and. Put it. <laughs> I mean, they had to throw the dancing. <laughs> Although I never would have, if it weren't for that movie, I never would have had a uh, ice bucket challenge. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing. You got to check out my ice bucket challenge from 20, was that 2014? Was that when that was mm. over? What happened to ALS? I don't know. COVID. I th- yeah, COVID. COVID. Yeah, there's no cases of it COVID. anymore. <laughs> I'm really hoping some of these diseases don't come back and that we just have COVID. Like flu? Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, I'm thinking uh, coming up episode, we need to put COVID to rest. I'm we'll, just, I'm tired of people asking me if I've been vaccinated. Well, save it. I feel like. Save it. But I. That's it. And then. That's, a, and then but I, that's the next episode. Have you been vaccinated? I've got I some. Know. I have come up Nobody's with some. Nobody's asked uh, me if I've had a vasectomy. <laughs> just keep <laughs> saving it. Because I've got COVID <laughs> characters we can Nobody's talk about. <laughs> but wait. So wait. And then I was. No. <laughs> so let's. Let's first of all let's start out with our trigger warning or cancel culture of the week. Oh, good! I like this. I like how we're starting with this. So we had a Korean comedian, comedian. I think that's misspelled. Comedian with it, it should be an E. <coughs> female uh, or identifies. All you needed female. to do is put a little dash in between the I and the an, and it would have been like that's her name. That's her name. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't pronounce her name. It's like Wu Young Fu or whatever. Yeah. You, you don't want to. You don't. You, you don't want to say her name because somebody might bring you a plate of food. Yeah. <laughs> that was well, she's, let's keep. Let's she's in trouble. Right she's in trouble with uh, the people in uh, South Korea. <laughs> she's a comedian now. Remember, <clears throat> because she has she has a YouTube channel, and on the YouTube channel she had some a joke that she did, and as you can see here, um, our friend um, looks like uh, Stretch Armstrong. She did a uh, some sort of sexual type move there. Well, she's in trouble, uh, not with Hasbro. <laughs> this is Stretch Armstrong. She's in trouble because, quote, legions of aggrieved young men accused her of sexual harassment. First of all, <laughs> legions of aggrieved young. Men. <laughs> I don't want. You know what? That's. I'd rather be in the uh, in the Rotary Club. But that club, whatever club that is, that's offended by or threatened. What dude? What dude was and say they're aggrieved and felt sexually harassed by a comedian because their their hands are this big and their feet are and they look at their fingers like this. Yeah, yeah. For fuck's sake! I mean, I mean, let's just say you're a teen. And your parents are, whoa, uh, you saw that thing on TV? I'm, I'm offended. Would you let your mom and dad, like, file for you? I'd be like, no, mom, no. I'm not going to be in that. I'm not going to be aggrieved. <laughs> How can you be offended by a small thing in a well, Asian nation? Well, I think that they're probably more offended because with Stretch Armstrong, I guess they still have it in Korea. Have you? Uh, did you ever break one open and see the juice out of it? The, Not from where she gel? was messing with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she did. So, and quote: "Police are investigating." Now, what are you? <laughs> what are you investigating? <laughs> There's video. <laughs> and what, what are you going to charge with? It's like it's, a, that's a that's a six twenty eight. <laughs> There's one time I. Uh, this was back in my corporate days, which is probably reason 173 why I'm no longer in big corporate. Was we had we had uh, sexual harassment training. So my boss at the time, who was female, said, "We're all right, everybody. Next week, next Tuesday at 10 o'clock, we have to go to sexual harassment training." And I go, <laughs> "I'm taking notes here. I want to make sure I get this right." Is harassment spelled H E R or H A R? 
That was, that was probably back in 19, 1998. <laughs> and it didn't go over well then, yeah. so you can imagine how. Did she take it seriously? <laughs> no, no, she thought it was funny. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, H E R A S S, her ass. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> that's this week's trigger warning cancel culture. And there's plenty, of, you know, that's easy to find, by the way. There's so many, there are so many of those, but. I always like to find something. I think if you unique. just look up like perverted Stretch Armstrong, <laughs> it's probably a hundred of them. Um, the word of the week. The word of the week. Can you pronounce that? No. Well, first I can't see it. Let me let me put your glasses on. Seven. Well, you can look right here. By the way. Yeah. Decides to stick fist to kick. Is that right? Ectasiast. Okay. Ectasiast. What do you think that means? Um, is that a Barbie doll and a what is it? I don't know. It's true words. It's it's in uh, Webster's dictionary. Can you use it in a sentence? I sure. might be able to. Sure. Um, after I hit the hole in one, <coughs> my fellow golfers decided. We have to go see an ectasiast, ectasiast, excuse me, ectasiast perform. Oh, because you what's, have to go, you have to go the buy rule? drinks at the... No, no, the, what's uh, the rule in, with when you play golf with me if... Play golf with you or, no, or normal people? Me, probably. Don't you go if, to, you, if you get a hole-in-one, automatically have to quit playing, what do you have to go do? Do you like shots at the bar? No. That's normal people. What? We go to a strip joint. Okay. We quit doing it. And so a ectasiast is a strip teaser. I did not know that. Why is that the word of the week? Was that on someone's business card that you got? No. And you're like, oh, I can use this? Why do you think that's the word of the week? Mm. Oh, because of taxes. Uh, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll get to that. Getting raped by the government? It's a true story people might not believe. And the reason I bring this one up is because it it came up again the other day. You might remember this one. I have cancer. Do you not know this one? <laughs> um, by the way, I'm not saying that Joe Biden has cancer here. It's just it's, I would right. find somebody that was shouting. It looks like he's doing something else, but... <laughs> Act diseased. Yeah. So this is this is probably five years ago. Five years ago or so, uh, I'm coaching a uh, a travel baseball team with we'll call them Roni, Roni Hall, and um, Fark Hall, and Pat Moore. <laughs> And we're at a sports bar after a game. And at the end of the bar, we're playing Golden Tea. Right? And there's three of us, four of us playing. Four of us playing Golden Tea. Where's and your Golden Tea? It's up in the, the lounge. Yeah. Um, That'd be a good backdrop. <laughs> better than Fragile? Yeah. But we uh, play, playing Golden Tea at the bar. We all have a beer. And so when it's our turn, we get up there and on the console and, and make our shot. But when we're taking our turn, we put our beer down on the stool behind us, right? Mm -hmm. Just to put it there, do our thing, grab the beer back, right? So Pat Moore, one time, <clears throat> puts his beer down, does his shot, comes back, instead of picking up his beer, he tries to sit in his stool, <clears throat> knocks the beer off the stool. <laughs> you know, glass breaks, pint glass breaks, Everybody in this crowded bar, everybody stopped, looked over, like, you know, when people do, like somebody yeah. draws a plate. <clears throat> and he goes, he looks around to see everybody looking at him, so he just goes, I have cancer, with a straight face. He didn't have cancer. He just said it to that get just, out of that? That just came up. I have cancer. So now, if I hit an errant golf shot, I have cancer. 
So if you hear me say I have cancer, it's right. from that story. You never right. heard that story? No. Yeah, Pat Orr did not have cancer. Pat Moore. I think it's because I don't get invited to play golf that often. Well, this was seen that. Because well, I've don't. seen you hit a lot of bad shots. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be perfect, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the usually, story... usually you say, like... For I... fuck's sake. No, you say, I moored it. <laughs> <laughs> or if I hit a, what they call a fat shot. Yeah. I henny it. Yeah. <laughs> henny mailer. <laughs> or if I hit it short, Darby horsey. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. <laughs> so, easing on into our our main discussion today. Being tax time and this year, of course, <clears throat> because of COVID. I mean, you, when, when's that phrase ever? Is gonna it go ever gonna no, we, I'm gonna use it the rest of my life. It's like I have cancer. I mean, it's, yeah. Now, people that have cancer, I'm not making fun of you having cancer. I'm just saying when it's not appropriate to use is right. when you use it, right? It's like saying now people accept well, because of COVID. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have horrible customer service now because because of COVID. Of COVID. <laughs> Absolutely no. You call into a customer reason. service line and it says, yeah, due to COVID, we have extended wait time. Why? Why? Because you, you probably have more more reps now than right. work from home. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody talks about oh, working from home. I get so much more done. No, I'm not sure work wise. Sake, no, not work wise. No. You're getting so much more done. Like you, you never have a half full laundry bin. No. Is what me, what that means. You never eat late. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So, it's so bad. I literally had a call where I, I literally got into the thing. You know, it says like, your wait time is, it said 104 minutes. And then they give you the because option a lot of times now, though. They tell you. Yeah, we'll call you back. We'll call you back. Yeah, I don't, I'm not believing that. Well, I've done it, though. And they right. say, let's say they say 60 minutes. I'm like, I ain't waiting on home for 60 minutes. And that's what they want you to do. They want right. you to just hang up. Yeah. <laughs> and hope that you don't even say, give me a call. I'll call back later. No, I always say, call me back. If they said the wait 60 minutes, I usually get a call back in 20. <laughs> so you got to be on the ready. If you're thinking, oh, I'm going to go. No, have that phone ready because if you... If they miss you, the cycle starts yeah. over again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, here's some what I considered fairly odd tax deductions. I mean, these are, I guess they, I think they can be justified, but they're a little bit odd, right. a little out of the norm. Um, and well, you're probably wondering why there's the crazy cat lady here. Look at the crazy cat lady. Like, I mean, this isn't even the whole picture. How many cats there are? Mm, that smell good in there. I mean, think about that. It's God. Yuck. Anyway. So there's pet moving expenses. If you move a pet, tax deductible. For where to where? How often? I guess you move, like, from... If I move a... If I move a doghouse, is that, is that tax deductible? Is it tax deductible for me to move me, like a human? Like, if I move... If I move my kid into a college apartment, mm -hmm. is that tax deductible? I mean, I I'm, I don't think it is. I don't think so. But it is I for think so. pet moving. Pet moving expenses so, are So if you move them. your pet into a dorm, you can do that. You can <laughs> sure, but not if I move my <laughs> not if you human move your children. cisgender norm. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> cat food. Now, not everybody's cat food is tax deductible. Right. Uh, this is a case where the guy that owned a junkyard, a junkyard had cats to keep the rats and mice away. And so he asked, uh, we, he filed uh, as a deduction. And at first the IRS said no, went to tax court. And they said, yeah, that's a business expense. <laughs> you had nothing on yeah. that. And no, and like a court, all they do is they focus on these corporations. Corporate America is paying zero in taxes. Well, first of all, it's not true. They well, pay a lot of money in taxes. Corporations don't really pay taxes, right. right? No. They, and people go, you see, they don't pay taxes. Right. 
They just collect taxes from you. So when you talk about raising corporate taxes on corporations, they're just passing it on to you. I know. What do they? What is? What do people think? It, taxes is is the same as any other cost of goods. Why do people think? Oh yeah, let's raise the tax on all of it, and that it's not going to flow to them. Well, they always say you know those executives, those CEOs line in their pockets. Yeah. Well, even if they are, they're passing that expense along to they you. Are. Yeah, <laughs> they are. You, so if you raise the taxes on them, they're just passing that on to you. But nobody, nobody cares that uh, that LeBron James makes fifty million dollars a year or whatever it is. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares that like a movie star makes twenty million dollars on a movie. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares because about they the... vote like them, huh? Because they vote. I, like I know, them. but they don't understand. They're woke. They don't understand. They think that a CEO that makes um, eight hundred thousand dollars a year is overpaid because there are that there are workers that are making minimum wage, mm -hmm. right? But the same thing happens in a movie or in a on a basketball team. There's some guy picking up LeBron James's towel, making eight bucks an hour, and he probably even gets worse. Up and goes, oh, I'll do even it all day long. I'll do you one better. There's somebody in China making a LeBron oh, yeah. James shoe. <laughs> Making thirty for cents. pennies, yeah. pennies, yeah, an hour, <laughs> yeah, and nobody cares about no. that. No. Nobody cares about no. that. Mm -mm. Let's just keep, let's just keep funding these people. No, as long as, as long as LeBron says a person is worth what you will pay them. That's it. And if you think that if you're making fifty grand a year, that you're gonna stick it to the guy making eight hundred. You're not making another dime. Mm -mm. You're not getting anything out of that. Matter of fact, you might that, not any might longer have worse. a $50,000 job. Yeah, you might get it worse. Mm -hmm. People are, why are they so stupid though? Like, where does it come from? Well, where I'm, does torn. The, where does I'm they... torn here. I am torn here because my philosophy is if it weren't for people like that, you and I would never move along in the world, right? We'd never, mm -hmm. like, surpass them in like i'm not talking about money i'm just talking about like you know um being able to do things i know but or, these people are these people are now the ones that are like they're driving they're driving everything the more nerds. so than than in the past it's the student government nerds yeah so we're the student government nerds and i equate that that because student government really in any walks of life i've been involved with any school they really don't get anything done. It's all like, hey, look at us. We're doing great things. Or it's like the people that I think, here's, so this is kind of off. Not really that far off because <clears throat> Kentucky Derby just happened. You remember the Kentucky Derby? Did you go to that Kentucky Derby party we went with, with the, uh, with uh, Fike, Mortera, and Lessica, Mortera? Yeah. Years nice. ago, where, where everybody dressed up, we yeah. went down and then we went to this big the farm, field, yes. the field, and they, like had the, and they had the linen yeah. napkins. Yeah. It was a fundraiser, yes. right? It was a fundraiser. Well, <laughs> I, f I found out after the fact, and I think it was a JDRF fundraiser, wasn't mm -hmm. it? it had after the fact that all of this glamour and everything else and all this really nice, it was a nice little gig, right? It was a nice place. These huge tents and they had flat screen TVs and a bar and all this. And the ladies wore their, their derby hats and people were walking in their little khakis and blazers and all that. Not my gig, but I was I took one for the team for that. Because you wanted to go, remember? <laughs> I <laughs> so, a ride. So, now, the cause was good. I mean, I thought I thought the cause was good. It was, it was for uh, ju juvenile diabetes research. Mm -hmm. um, come to find out, after all that <laughs> pomp and circumstance... They raised four grand. It's pomp. Pomp. It's like pom poms, you know, like the I guess. Oh, it's very British. Pomp. And circ what circumstance? Just like stuff that happens, like all this. So how do you put rigor. what? Why would you have pomps? With <laughs> I don't know if that's pomp. That's like the, what they use for the British royalty stuff, right? Pomps. Pomp and circumstance. You ever heard that phrase? 
Why is there only one pomp but multiple circumstances? <laughs> pomp and circumstance? Pomp and pomp circumstance. circumstance. That's singular. Circumcision? <laughs> Well, that's, that should be a show, right? We talk about the sayings. Yeah. I think we did for yeah. a while there. We did. We did some of that. <clears throat> but anyway, after all that, wow. hundreds of people. And everybody like, I'll bid on that, you know, Buffy. Right. And $4,000 they netted. <laughs> four grand. They spent 50 grand to bring in four grand at a charity event. How much do we spend on ours? Nothing. Hmm. Anyway, why don't we get off on that? I don't know. It looks like you have a long list. Though. We should probably, <laughs> no, no. Should probably no, jump let's, back. No, let's get through these. Uh... <laughs> this is why I don't Service prepare. Service pets. <laughs> what if I prepared something? We would have never got to it. We would have been like, sorry, Jake, we're out of time for everything that you did to pull this show together. Yeah, that's why you don't prepare. <laughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> COVID. Service pets. You think put a like, commercial break or something? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. That's that cough. That's that I cough I've had for twelve years. Um, service pets. Individuals are. I, I can see if they're like canine. You were in a canine unit and you had to like get a dog. Right. <laughs> right. Anyway. You can call anything pet a service are. pet. I like how they're stopping them from going on planes. Like, well, I mean, come on. I was on a plane with once with a pot belly pig. And she brought her pet. <laughs> and, and a pony. A, you, a miniature pony. Are you kidding not me? Not kidding. A miniature Where's the pony. Picture of that? I, I'm sure I have it somewhere. How did you not I, get I a picture of somewhere. that? I do have it somewhere. And this was probably five to six you years were ago. on a plane with a On a pony. plane with a miniature pony. How small? Cute. It was like, you know how Shetland pony is small? That's small? It was, it was smaller than that. It was probably like the size of a... Sounds like a dog. Size of a golden retriever, maybe. It was a little horse. Where did it sit? It was it there was a <coughs> bulkhead and it sat in front of the lady. And it was an emotional support pet. And that was, you know, six probably six, seven years ago in All Star when people started bringing their animals on the plane and claiming it as emotional support. I think they're if I don't see, if I don't see that picture within one week. Then I'm going to on the next show rebut this. Okay. That I don't believe Deal. That it's true. Deal. Was it wearing something like? No, it had like a little, uh, like a almost like a Indian guy's vest that had patches <laughs> on it. Had patches on it that said "service dog" or ser service, "service donkey," "service animal," "service animal." I swear. Pot belly pig. I remember seeing that one. And I remember seeing the the pony, and the pony one was coming back from like. Might have been. It was out west. I don't know how far out. Oh, that's a big surprise. It was a, it was a long flight. I didn't. And I didn't hear a peep from the pony though. No pony peeps. Mm, no pony peeps. <laughs> what about the? Pig? What, wasn't that a, wasn't that a sign for that said about the pony? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pony. <laughs> I had the pony. Everyone in Poland had a pony. <laughs> I didn't know she had a pony. <laughs> how was I supposed to know she had a pony? <laughs> Who uh, likes anyone that has a pony? <laughs> Another tax deduction is um, swimming pools. Okay. Interesting. Now, it's towards <clears throat> health and wellness, especially if you have health concerns. And you can see like, like a pattern a, like here, a by the way. Cough <laughs> like a 12-year-old 12 12 cough. <laughs> but, those, but you'll see a lot of patterns here. People that have done things in their lives that have not been good for them physically – like you've done things unhealthy, they get tax deductions. <laughs> and people that do things uh, don't. So you could say, if you have health issues, you could get a pool installed. So let's say $40,000 pool. Tax deductible. If you claim it's because of health. Yep. If you're obese. Private air travel. If you and I rented a private jet. For work? To fly to, um, let's say that we own, uh, we own a vacation home in um, Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> if Belize. we own one there and we Belize, rent it out, that's where I'm going. I'm going to Belize. I've I'll never been there. there. I just I read an article. Okay. On... You didn't go on the cruise. You were on that cruise when we went to Belize, right? No. Yeah. No. 
Yeah, you were. You weren't on a cruise with us. We went to Belize. Who? Uh, me, you, the Hackentires, the... We didn't go to Belize. Messlers. Yeah. Was there a pony? No. <laughs> we did the cave tubing. Remember that? Did you do that? Uh, you didn't do a lot of these churches. The, we went with that group. We went to Bahamas. Where's Belize? I don't even know where it is. I'm just moving there. Because oh, Central Southern. America. That's yeah, right. we didn't go there. We went to... With that group, we, we, we went to, we went to uh, Charleston, and we went out to... Like, okay, so this is another... All right. This is a yeah, different... You're with, think of some other names. That was the Four Terras, I think. Hmm. Anywho. And the Blydens. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if we owned a, a vacation home that we rented out in Barcelona, in our travel, we took a private aircraft, private jet, we can deduct that. That makes sense. That would make sense more than the donkey. Well, these are fairly odd, but I mean, you think about it, like a private jet probably costs you a good bit, right? right? I'm not sure how justifiable that is when you can take. I know, but you can't. Like the government can't sit there and say, "Well, no, wait a minute. You could have gotten a, you could have gotten a cheaper flight." You know what I mean? Why did you fly on Delta? You could have flown on. Why are you watching the Red Sox highlights? Because we're getting eight right now. Another was clarinet lessons. Out. Clarinet lessons. <laughs> clarinet lessons. Now. I mean, if you're making money as I, a... I as dug a, a little deeper into this, and, and I did find that it, it is, if, if you're doing it as a, um, if you're a student, if you're part of a, uh, a touring group or you're part of the band at school, they can be, or if you're <coughs> teaching, you can use clarinet lessons as a, but I did find out this. In the sake of uh, inclusiveness and fairness, so not all clarinet lessons are tax deductible. Okay? Only the ones that. But I did find that if you play the skin flute, one hundred percent tax deductible. If you're a what was the word of the day? A, oh, uh, escalate, uh, No, I mean that's like that's like practice. Yeah. <laughs> Skin flute is totally 100% tax deductible. So, yeah, I had a lot of, I had a warm up today. You're a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Babysitting fees. You look at, I can't believe you've got it written out here. You're making me feel bad for not being able to say it. Why? Ectesiest. I prepared. Ectesiest. Well, it's like you, it's like you, Can you do write it off a fluffer? Phonetically, your name. I know. Can you can you write off a fluffer if you're an ectasiast? Probably. Yeah. Okay. I think so. If you're paying, I'm just checking. Yeah. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a call tomorrow. Uh, still... Babysitting fees. That's like a fluffer for an ectasiast. <laughs> <laughs> babysitting fees. Now, here's where I find ironic, though, is. The babysitting fees, like one of the things they pointed out was if you hire babysitters for job searches, tax deductible. Like if you're off looking for a job. But these days, with everybody getting paid from the government, us, and not pursuing jobs, if they, can they claim babysitting fees? Feeses? <laughs> not feces. Feces. <laughs> So if you are, if you're like a, if you have your own business mm -hmm. and you require somebody to come over and watch your kids while nope. you're no good. Has to be like for, for pursuit of jobs and shit like that. Ah. Even though you're being productive and you're working right. and making money and paying taxes, you get tax deduction and babysitting but fees, could. but you don't have any income. So you're not paying any taxes anyway. Right, but you could put you could put somebody on your payroll as a you could have a you could put somebody on your payroll as like an as a as an administrative assistant or something mm -hmm. like that, and their role is to watch the kids. You could write that off. That you could do. It's a write off. It's a write off, Jerry. You don't even know what a write off is. Now here's some some uh, I would say. Really odd, Pat. <laughs> really odd tax deductions. <laughs> Some really odd ones I found. Um, and there's a pattern to these two. Right. Like the other ones had a lot of pet stuff and yeah. shit like that. I have a feeling this is going to be 
instead of pet stuff, it's going to be pad stuff. Yeah. Weight loss items. Okay. If you're obese, if you're obese and you are on a doctor's plan or orders uh, to lose weight for health reasons, right? And you shouldn't have to be on doctor's plan or orders to lose weight for health reasons. You should probably know that yeah. I got some health issues. I should probably lose weight, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Right. Um, but if you purchase weight loss items, if you do, like, a, if you get a treadmill or whatever, or, or probably even yoga pants. I mean, yoga pants. And speaking Maybe of yoga pants, pants, yeah, the people that wear the yoga pants, not generally speaking, there are some that absolutely should wear the yoga pants. But there's a lot of people that either, A, they shouldn't wear the yoga pants, or they weren't yoga pants. They were they just regular at, at regular pants, size? and they just, they were just regular pants, and they filled them out. At what size? All right, so there's there's two two points to this, the yoga mm-hmm. pants. Thing. At what point does yoga pants turn into just stretch pants? Like, is is a small stretch pants and like an XL yoga pants? Does it go like, it goes like small, medium, large stretch pants? <laughs> <laughs> XL no. large, but <clears throat> small stretch pants, right. medium stretch pants. Right. <clears throat> yeah, and then, and then at what point is it? At what point is it legal? You know, we do have we do have like you know laws in the country about certain things. At what point decency laws? You're talking decency about? laws that that the material has expanded so much that you can just basically see right through the material sheen sheen. Yeah, you can you can almost hear the you know like corduroy makes like a. <laughs> There's a there's a sound that it, that the stretch pants make. It's just like, oh, <laughs> oh, I can't do it much longer. But here's the deal, like right, you never see stories. You never see stories about somebody at an amusement park. Let's just say you're at an amusement park with your family. You never see where some morbidly obese person, male, female, mixed gender, whatever, <laughs> right. Whatever, Why you never that? see, you never see a story where somebody that's like just morbidly obese or just flat out ugly gets told you need to go change your clothes. Right? You, right. You're you're offending some people. Yeah. You're not in our dress code because they're just like uh, no one wants to look at. It. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna yeah. decide. You're I'm not gonna look food at food sales right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you just do what you do and go buy the turkey leg, right? <laughs> Right. You being here is preventing people from buying food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you see people that are really should wear tight fitting stuff and really have the, the figures for it. I mean, I include myself in that. <laughs> but male, female, whatever, whatever. But they're the ones you see the stories about that they're asked to leave because they, yeah. they're showing too much skin or whatever. And I guarantee you it's by the people that are the morbidly obese right. that are stretching the yeah, things to the yeah, limit. Yeah. That's what's what I happens. can't look like that. Why should they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. The, anyway. the thing, too, is that if they if the people you're referring to wore what the bigger people were wearing, that would still be good. <laughs> <laughs> we like that, too. <laughs> well, we like when they wear it. Don't like when you wear it. This is what I was talking about before. People are. That's where they, is it, they sell ponchos at like Disney World. <laughs> the rain ponchos. The, the, put a poncho the Mickey on. Mouse thing. It yeah. costs you 80 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Just put this thing on and everything will be fine. Yeah. Um, as I was mentioning, like the, the things that people do that are not good healthily are getting rewarded. We'll talk about this later in another show, but <clears throat> I'll touch on it. Just like the people when they put the order and priority of people that got the vaccine, yeah, obese Wait, why smokers. Did you, why did you do vaccine? Ah, because like that? that's another you show. You should have said the order of uh-huh. the vaccine, but instead you said the order of the vaccine. Yeah. Well, I should say the the priority of the people that got gene therapy. Right. Right. Yes. Oh, but that's a whole other episode. But anyway, so they're rewarded. We're rewarding people from a tax deduction standpoint for nicotine patches. You're trying to quit smoking. Hey, it's a good thing. And I agree. Trying to quit smoking. Good thing. But why are we rewarding you for doing something that you shouldn't be doing anyway? 
They're, they're not going to answer. You For can... fuck's sake. Yeah. It's All right. Weird. There's more to that. There's more coming at you. Oh, free beer. <laughs> Remember the free beer one? Did you, you read that? Did you read that one? No. So this guy that owned service stations, gas stations, would give a free beer to anybody who filled up their gas tank. <laughs> Got a free beer. What's wrong with that? Apparently nothing. So he deducted that as a promotion, marketing promotional expense. Right. IRS said, nope. He got a tax attorney. They said, mm, went to court. They said, yep. Promotional expense. That one I like. So you, got, you got people coming. That one I can oh, yeah. You got people coming to your place. Well, instead of offering them a Slurpee. Right. I'll give you a beer. And the thing is, you go to these convenience stores anyway. You think about it. You go to get a fountain drink or a Slurpee. You're paying more. You're paying more for a bottle of water. In many cases, a bottle of water that's probably out of the tap. They just put it in a bottle and put it on the shelf. You pay more for a bottle of water than you do for beers and some of these. You get that big bin with yeah. like the oh yeah the, yeah. the natural yeah. light and shit beer. like that beer <laughs> and it's on One, ice. Yeah, and that's cool. Dollar fifty. Beer. Yeah, dollar fifty yeah. like twenty four ounce. Two ninety nine. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. And just think, it took that water to make that beer. Yeah. And the beer probably has better water in it than what's in that yeah. <laughs> water bottle. But anyway, so yeah, free beer. The guy was... He was that one I can... I can oh, I'm, I I'm on board with that, yeah. But again, yeah. you know, bad health. Yeah. health the, stretch, the stretch pants, no. The, the free beer, yes. <laughs> uh, genetic testing kits. Why is that tax deductible, though? You think the government wants the information? I think the government wants the information. Well, they claim think they're getting that information from that. They claim it is people that are looking to see their health history. But I think it's tied to the next couple items here. Mm -hmm. Which are sex change operations or gender transitions, tax deductible. That's like getting a tax deduction for buying a hybrid. You do? <laughs> yeah, I know. Why would that one be tax deductible? Because they want to, I guess they want to encourage people to get sex It seems that way, doesn't it? Sex change operations or transitions. Yeah. That may be tied to the genetic testing kits. Is that like an actual, or is that something that like somebody won that in court? Somebody won that in court, so therefore it's, it's what case was the law. Purpose? It's case law. It yeah, says case law should be ripped up. Well, but that's what they go by. Law. But that's what they go by. They go by what happened before, like precedent. Oh, so Johnny Cochran goes out and does all these things. That Johnny Cochran doesn't do much of anything right now. I know, but what about... Uh, he has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have cancer. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the guy that was on Seinfeld? I forget. Oh, uh, uh, Johnny... Why did you Why did you put the ball on? Yeah. Why did you, why did why did you, you put, put the ball, the ball on? on? I told you to put, put, put the ball on. on. Put the ball on. Johnny something. Yeah. Johnny Mochran. <laughs> Here you go. Here's here's one more for you. Or not. There you go. Breast implants or breast augmentation? Mm. If you're a ectasiast. I mean, that's that absolutely. That well, is. and it's not because they say it's, it's part of the profession. Here's, here's the term they use in the case. That they went to you know tax court and they said oh no that's it. if you're if you're an ec diseased and you get breast implants or breast augmentation I mean, that's like that's like updating your equipment you in a factory they call it props <laughs> props <laughs> so I'm assuming based on that case can be made for a stripper pole oh yeah if I get a stripper that's pole put up in my in my lounge, can I? I mean, that would have to be a reinforced. It would be a heavy duty. I mean, it would be like a fireman's pole yeah. or something, <laughs> or, like, mm -hmm. or like a antenna or something like a. It would be heavy duty, but that would be tax deductible. Well, you would have to make money off it, though, or yeah. try, try, try. Yeah, I guess Yoda would be a 
opposed to that. I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm probably better off not making money off of it, but I put one in and I right. I use it for I use it for physical fitness, but I encourage people to throw dollars at me, then that is definitely a tax deductible item. I mean, just put up something on the door so people know what you're doing and so they don't like a sock? Down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sock. Here are some uh, some awesome, I think, awesome tax deductions which I r r ran up against. <laughs> what do you think that picture is of there? Is that way? awesome powers? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. So yeah, there's a few maybe. of them. No particular order of importance, but in Texas. Cowboy, cowboy boots are sales tax exempt. If you buy cowboy boots, no sales tax, no state sales tax. If you buy hiking boots, yes. If you buy Crocs or Uggs, triple. Double. Triple? The <laughs> <laughs> no, last part's not true, but should be. Right. That should be the case, right? But if you buy cowboy boots, they don't have to be made in Texas. Cowboy boots, sales tax exempt. That's pretty cool, right? I like that, yeah. 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 I like Texas. In South Carolina, if you donate a deer to the homeless, you get $50 tax deduction. <laughs> so imagine, if I'm if I'm out there in South Carolina, I'm shooting like 300 of those motherfuckers. I'm aiming for them on the road. I'm picking them up on the side <laughs> of the road. Just throw them in the back of the Jeep. Three. I mean, $50 a, a deer. They have to be deer. dead? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I suppose. I mean, what if the? <clears throat> how about if I donated a cat to a <laughs> a Vietnamese restaurant? Do I get deduction there? You just get some free <laughs> mugu gai pan. <laughs> Cream of some young guy. <laughs> That's what you like. <laughs> you Here you go, Armenia. This was for you. Okay. If you were persecuted. By the Ottoman Empire, you were tax you were tax free from nineteen fifteen to nineteen twenty three. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, if you were if you were persecuted by them during that window, right. nineteen fifteen to nineteen twenty three, you My don't have to pay taxes. Probably is owed some money. God, she just too bad she didn't Our die. Maybe. Like, Actually, you're Italian, but like, like you're thirty Armenian. years ago. Raised Armenian. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can file that as a I'm still trying to figure out the teeth and where that comes in. I'm sure it's somewhere down the line. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Flossing. Why are you focused on the teeth? I don't know. You did it for a reason. In Germany, bribes are tax deductible. Receiving them or giving them? Giving bribes. The money you give in bribes is tax deductible. Do you have to pay for the tax on the on the nope. receiving side? No, but what you have to do in order for my God, he's having trouble. Oh, yeah. In order for it to be tax deductible, you have to you have to tell who the bribee is. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say who you bribed. <laughs> Think about that cycle. So the very people that you're filing taxes with and saying I don't have to pay you taxes are the people that are taking bribes that are reviewing your taxes. That's funny. It's just a vicious cycle. <laughs> Why is it that baseball players, every time they don't make a play... They act hurt? They, they act hurt. No, like, that's soccer. No, 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 no. This is, this is very much... Like, watch. What could have happened to him right there? Look at him. He's like, oh, well, I'm embarrassed, maybe. He's the first baseman. Oh, right no. Oh, I fell over. <laughs> he's the first baseman. Everybody's base. laughing at him. <laughs> and he has, to, he has to, like, regroup. Baseball is not far off from soccer when it comes to that. What's that ringtone? That's Seinfeld. Awesome. What was it? Which episode? Oh, I don't know. She'll, look. She'll call back in two seconds. Oh, for we'll fuck's sake. Another one. <laughs> oh, so it's a random one? It's random. It's oh, awesome. Whoa. I love it. Was that an app? Yeah. Sometimes it's just like, I'm out there, Jerry, and I'm <laughs> loving every minute of it. Well, you saw the title of today's yeah. show. It's like, we're back, baby, and we're loading it. <laughs> but the other one is like, 95% um, of people are, are undateable. 95%! <laughs> <laughs>
All right, here's the last one here of the awesome uh, tax deductions. In the UK, video games. Video games are tax deductible in the UK if they are culturally British. What does that mean? That means they have characters with bad teeth. <laughs> <laughs> with bean teeth. Bad awesome breath. Powers. <laughs> bad breath. Um, bad food if they have like, not just tasteless food. And if they're condescending. <laughs> condescending. <laughs> condescending, yeah. So, I think a video game would be good if it was like, you know, like the the people that like guard the the, um, the oh, castle. Then, yeah, so, Buckingham Palace. Yeah. And you got to make us laugh. You got to make <laughs> it laugh. You got to make a, them laugh. It's a game. Or look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the guns that they're holding are not loaded. Imagine being a, a policeman, a bobby in England. You don't get a gun. You get a fucking stick. Because handguns are not legal in right. the UK. Oh, well, it's fine. Then the bad guys are going to have them. Crazy. That's another show. That's where the teeth came in. See? I like it. I like how the finished up nice. <laughs> that is awesome powers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's the here's the awkward ending. The meme of the week. So okay. right now we're having a you know they claim gas shortages. It's really not. It's a rush on gasoline because <laughs> the thing is here's how do we how do people keep making the same mistakes over and over again? First of all, so there's a whole lot going on here with this. The Colonial Pipeline, right? Somebody hacked into the Colonial Pipeline, and for some reason you hack into a mechanical thing. You know, uh, yeah. How does how does the gas not flow? It's mechanical. It's not. Yeah. This, <laughs> is, this is an absolute. Let's just see what we can do to get people to not drive. So first of all, A, that's a, a beef I have with it. B, <laughs> is as soon as this story came out, Saturday about noon when it when it came out that it was hacked into and they had to had to shut it down just to see where the hacking was coming from saturday afternoon <laughs> when i heard the story i went immediately from where i was i was headed home from where i was i went straight to a gas station and filled my tank up and i didn't need to i was like a three quarters of a tank i filled it up and a guy i was with it was like why are you doing that i says because here's what's going to happen there's going to be a rush on the gas stations, and the prices are going to jack up. I saw it happen when Katrina was yeah. coming towards in 2005. I watched a gas station. I sat across in a hotel right across the street from a gas station, looking out the hotel window, and I saw a guy change the sign seven times in an hour. Oh, Jesus. Just based on speculation. And you got people that are buying up gas cans and filling them up and putting them in their house. To save just in case. And so, so the meme here, this is on a, this is actually on a pump. Did you see the, did you see the caution note? Do mm -hmm. not insert in mouth or rectum. Are you fucking, what? Are, Do not insert the gas where did dispenser. Where that come from? From a gas station I was at. What? You took that picture. I took that picture. You took that picture. I took that picture. You took that picture. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Up in sheets. Somebody put a sticker there. <laughs> Somebody put a sticker on all those things. <laughs> Somebody put it. I thought that's... Nobody pays attention to it, right? <laughs> but then I thought, you know... <laughs> there's probably people that have done that. Okay. I mean, especially this week. <laughs> The hey, store, we can't. Store it. Yeah, the store we can't to put it in. Have you seen the video of the little, uh, the little lady, the Asian lady that was put in in it plastic bags? bags. Oh. Yeah. The the funny here's the funny thing I think <laughs> is that when wait a minute all that's funny somebody <laughs> I know but somebody is going like right now they see a gas station and it's like oh look there's no line and they pull in there's they no pull in. what is wrong with them they think they found like the the fountain of youth of some sort. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. No, don't worry about it. I just found a gas station that has no lines. Yeah. I didn't. 
even the sheets up in the corner up here. There's people up there just like the line going out, lying around like, the highway, like on the road is yes. crazy. <laughs> and they're sitting there with their engines on. <laughs> they're sitting there for an hour with their engine on, idling, when they could drive ten minutes up the road. Go, whoop, whoop. It's and but they're probably not going anywhere because they're going nowhere. They're going nowhere because they oh, just went to get gas. Well, or we're quarantined or what we right. can't we're we're working from home. Yeah. Where the fuck are they going? Uh, I'm so sick. It's like the toilet paper. It's the toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, there there's gotta be I what I, did I tell you what I did? I took all my rolls of toilet paper and I wrote the year on it. <laughs> just so Later on, when I finally get to it, it's going to be four years. Oh, this is a roll from 2020. <laughs> It'll be 2024. Like, hey, this is vintage. <laughs> Where did you write the numbers? I just put it on the in marker on the side, like the <laughs> side of the roll. <laughs> you don't think that's, I mean, that's pretty funny. That's, that's, yeah. I think that's very funny. <laughs> I think that I could go on eBay or whatever in years from now, hey, He's got some 2021 toilet paper that people are going to have like a display box of COVID things. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, next time um, we'll talk. Let's get into some COVID. So I've got some. I got some ideas on COVID characters. I, I've named like people. I've come up with some mm. nicknames of like different characters we've seen during COVID. I think they got some legs. <laughs> I like it. And you can, you know, next week maybe you can contribute to that. I'll try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay. check us out on uh, our YouTube page. Just go to YouTube and search. Now that's a show. I think you can search now too for Fox Sake. Now that's a show, but it's probably safe just to go for <laughs> now that's a show. <laughs> you got anything to add before we wrap up? Just the. Uh... <laughs> I literally, I literally saw two people. Like kiss goodbye at the airport yesterday with masks on. No. Yeah, just like the whole uh, like Harris did it with her, with her husband. What is wrong with people? <laughs> like I just can't get over the stupidness of this whole thing. These people, everybody's got a got a shot in their arm, they're, and they're still walking around with the masks, thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's this normal. Is, this is great lead up. Lead, I know, but it's lead, not normal. This is lead up for, for a nice episode. Why are so, people so episode stupid? Episode 13 of this season, we'll we'll talk about that. Or 12. Where are we at? 11 here? The longer, they, the, the longer they keep these masks on and all that, the longer it's going to go. And they realize this? Like, break out. Break <laughs> out. Let's do it. Well, we've got some... We got some Jesus. anecdotal anecdotal evidence next week. It'd be like we'll people share. going in the pool with the, like with floaties on constantly because they're afraid they're going to drown. <laughs> I love when you see kids, little these parents at the beach, right? There's waves and there's tide and there's waves crashing on them, and everything. But they got the swimmies, the little arm swimmies on the kid. That ain't gonna no, <laughs> that's not safe. And so the parents are sitting back there and chit chat. Yeah, yeah, Charlie did this, not. And the kid's drowning because he's got freaking water wings on in the <laughs> ocean. For fuck's sake! <laughs> I still, I still like the joke, the, the joke that I had about if you had COVID and you had and you got the vaccine, why well, you're still, still wearing... and you're still wearing a mask? It would be like wearing a condom after having a vasectomy, <laughs> but wearing the condom. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're in public, you have a condom on. <laughs> that was just, just worth it's, repeating. Because that's how stupid this is. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got I a condom on. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. yeah well, oh, wait, by the way, by the way, if you're if you're the you're the female on this, you've had you're you're on the pill. You've had your tubes tied, and you're wearing a mask too. <laughs> so wearing a now belt, we're good. A, a belt with suspenders, right? Yeah. Well, we will. Uh, we'll address some of those. Those are good, good ideas. And I'm, like, see the, I see the energy building oh, up. For, I'm just so angry. <laughs> so, I'm so angry. Till next time, on for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> now that's the show.
<laughs> we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>